I know you're thinking, Bill, what are you talking about? Feel good days? Are you kidding me? I mean, we had the Russian collusion, wall to wall, every day coverage throughout his presidency. And I'm still waiting on Adam Schiff to release his smoking gun evidence to prove um, that it happened. I had the impeachments. And I'm still amazed that we impeached a sitting president over a private phone call he had with another nation's president. Then you had the tweets. Oh my goodness. I mean, every day, you did not need an account with Twitter to know because every news outlet would highlight every word and then they would interpret those words for you and then label as tweets, whether they were racist or homophobic or whatever other feel-good word they use. But I'm telling you, feel-good days. Let me give you 10 reasons. Number one, there was no talk of inflation because there was no inflation. Number two, we were energy independent. Listen, now we have this war on fossil fuels. So when Europe goes into the winter with not enough natural gas and oil, we got nothing for them. That's too bad. Number three, low, record low unemployment for blacks, for Hispanics, and for women. Pretty amazing coming from a racist and misogynistic president. Number four, half the violent crimes that we're seeing today. And that includes the Black Lives Matter violent insurrections that took place under Trump. Number five, no war in Ukraine. I think Putin looked at Trump and thought, mm, he's kind of a wild card. Let's wait to the next guy. And the next guy offers him the greatest gift of all, Afghanistan, right away. So Putin knew the U.S. military, no threat at all. Let's go in. Number six, big feel good for me, no climate change policy coming out of the White House. So I didn't have the daily feeling of guilt because I was destroying the planet, nor did I feel pressure to bow and submit at the altar of big government climate change policy. Number seven, no Southern border crisis. Number eight, record stock market prices. Number nine, one I'm sure you have no knowledge of because the press would never cover something like this. It was big for me because I hate the swamp. Trump is the only president to call for an audit of the Defense Department. I know. So he sent in a thousand accountants. And of course, the Pentagon failed the audit, meaning they could not explain where the money went. In that report, it was said it would be years before the Pentagon could ever pass this test and answer that simple question. And by the way, this is why the Pentagon hated Trump so bad. And it's not a coincidence that it was a military guy from the Pentagon who was the whistleblower in that first impeachment. But number 10, the most feel-good thing of all historically was the Abraham Accords. This was, you know, uh, Carter had done the deal between Israel and Egypt, the first Middle Eastern country, and then Clinton brought in Jordan and Trump added two more. And I really believe he would have brought in Saudi Arabia had he been reelected. And when Saudi Arabia joins this, it's a world history changing event. Current administration, though, they're intent on a deal with Iran, which is the enemy of Saudi Arabia, and they still want to obliterate Israel from the face of the earth. So we'll have to wait for another guy. And a shout out to MSNBC and CNN because now they are on life support on the ratings, but they were number one back in the feel good days.